I usually just walk around floating and I don't know why it's a whole experience for me to be so human. <laughs> I don't know where to go. Let me try a little experiment. This cube tonight is going to represent the thousands of possible moves that you either see or don't see in body language every day. All types of different things. For instance, gestures, micro expressions, shifting feet, movement of the eyes, all types of things. Now, to solve the puzzle of body language and to have maybe an advantage in business, the only thing you need to do is pay attention to what you see. Now, when studying body language, when studying body language, you'll notice that some moves are very obvious and deliberate, while others are just going to run fast. And just like we saw moments ago, some moves are so fast you don't even know what to look for. My name is Rich Ferguson, obviously I'm a magician, but today we're going to do something different. The program said, I'm going to reveal what's up my sleeve. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Watch out, mass magician. <laughs> Actually, the truth is, I am a magician. I'm a sleight of hand artist, and the only thing that's ever up my sleeve is this. Nothing more. And this is what we're going to talk about today, the hands. So to mix it up a little bit for a business meeting like this, we thought, why not start it off with the science of a handshake? So that's what I'm going to share with you today. But before I have you introduce yourself to each other, let's talk about what is a handshake? What is the purpose of a handshake? A handshake is not more, it's not, it's not just a greeting. It's an opportunity when two strangers meet to level the playing field, put everything else aside, and it's supposed to be an opportunity to be equal. So you can actually share each other's thoughts and give each other a chance to convey your message and whatnot. Well, you know outside these walls, we're living in a world of society and a business setting where it's not the case. Nothing's, nothing's equal. People are always trying to negotiate to get the upper hand, so to speak. And so what I figured I would do is go through the basics of psychology of the handshake with you before I have you shake each other's hand, kind of mix it up a little bit, and we'll see where this takes us. I'm going to start by sharing the, a couple of the most basics, which we'll just call this the underhand. If I was going to shake Missy's hand here, you don't have to get up. If I was going to shake your hand, if I was to take this hand, this is neutral, if I was to turn this slightly upwards, believe it or not, when she shakes me hand, she, when she shakes my hand, she's going to have a feeling of trust. I'm going to come across very humble. I'm going to come across to her like I'm actually interested in what she has to say. It conveys that I'm, 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 I'm going to listen to her. That's what it says. However, the twist on this, literally, is if I was to shake her hand neutrally, and a moment later, I found my hand face up because she put it there. She's gained control, and she is very in a cocky way saying, I don't care what you have to say, I'm in control. And at this point, now I'm a little weak. Completely a different scenario, same exact position. Similar to that would be the overhand. If I was to approach someone and shake their hand outwards, but I offered it to her face down, I'm right off the bat taking this control. I'm literally taking the upper hand, hence the upper hand. So there's lots of different ones that, that pertain to the psychology of control. I'm going to talk about three specific ones that are usually from men to men. Women can just kind of relax. I'm not going to pick on you. But mental, mental, mental confirm this. You reach out, and a guy reaches in and grabs his fingertips and just cranks down on him because he's tough. But what he's doing is he's trying to, he's trying to convey his dominance. And the thing that's so frustrating about this kind of behavior in business is confidence and dominance are two different things. And a lot of cocky guys get those backwards, completely different. It's fine to be confident and to take charge and control me, but it's not okay to necessarily assert your dominance. There's a big difference. So crushing the fingertips, the thing that's annoying about that is if you ask the person, geez, dude, that kind of hurt. He goes, yeah, I don't know my own strength. That's a lie, because he never, ever does it to a woman. Think about it. Another one is similar, coming in for a handshake, and he just a nice firm grip, but the guy just cranks down. They also can show his dominance once again. You're laughing. You do that one, don't you? No. <laughs> Along those same lines, one that's kind of weird, I call it the aftershock. And it's coming for a nice firm handshake. And it's nice and firm. The guy picks up that, well, it's a nice firm handshake. And at the end, one quick little jab. It's almost like a shove. 
that kind of handshake, beware, because that person is very, very physically telling you he's always going to get the last word. He can care less what you have to say. Two minutes. All right. We're going to skip through. i got pages and pages of these things. Here's a good one. This one is another big red flag. I call it the hesitation. So, Missy, kind of come up here for a second and introduce yourself Hi. to me. Hi, Missy. And say hi. Yeah, it's a hesitation. I trust you. It's a hesitation, but it comes with a big stack of chips on the shoulders, and that's what that does. And you might have seen that usually from the kind of the cocky, frat boy turned businessman type vibe. It comes with like a, you're going to shove them. You know, if you're walking down the street, people look out of each other's way, but then there's those types who just don't. That's what that handshake kind of represents. So um, we don't have a whole lot more time. I'm just going to leave you with maybe two tips on what's kind of more like etiquette in, in handshaking. For instance, if I watch you to walk towards someone, the person sitting would stand up, so you stand up, and that's kind of more appropriate, and it feels right. Because if you think about it, if you're really interested in somebody, you're going to meet them, you're going to shake their hand, you kind of just sit there, and you know, then obviously you're showing to them a little disrespect. Another one would be like, say I'm going to shake your hand, but hey, nice to meet you. And I'm not really looking at her, it's kind of rude, it feels kind of awkward too, but you would be surprised if you go to chamber pictures, how many people do it, it's kind of freaky. So it's another one that's making eye contact for sure. Do you have a video this morning? No, not at all, not at all. So anyways, point being, we start off with the handshake, a little seminar here about handshakes. I'm just going to leave you with this. It's really fun for me as a mentalist to know all these crazy things about body language all over the place. It's fun to absorb it and to watch for it, but I challenge you to do this. Don't worry so much about how it's going to help you get the advantage of people and protect you. How about look at yourself and think, what image are you projecting? Because that's just as important. I'm Rich Ferguson. If you have any questions, you can talk to me afterwards. And I want you guys to introduce yourself on an equal playing field right now. Just turn to your neighbor and say hello. <laughs> <laughs>